Oh, 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 that's awesome. Beast mode. <laughs> Well, about three days into the season, figure I'd call Colton up, be my cameraman. I a spot right next to the house. Bunch of does funneling through, so figure get some eating freedom. October 4th, here in Leon County, about 4.15. We just got in the stand. Cleared a little bit and supported the cameraman, Colton. We have these deer funneling in here, right at the edge of this pasture. Hopefully we can put one down. Fifteen minutes ago, about 5.30, had this doe come out. She was at 42 yards, we had a doe blow. She got on alert. I decided she, when she gets brought to us, I was gonna take the shot. Took the shot, I looked at the footage. She just barely ducked the arrow. Come a little early, we still got about an hour and a half, hour, 15 minutes till it gets dark. So we're gonna sit, see if anything else will funnel through here. All right, guys. That about wraps it up. Got a little too dark on us. We didn't see anything after I shot. But uh, I'm gonna let it settle down. I got still still got a couple other stands I can hunt. I'll be back at it though. Infected Outdoors is brought to you by PSE Archery. Experience performance. Vapor Trail. Quit your crying. Well, we're sitting in them blind and where the does came out, they could see Colton perfectly. The sun was beaming down on them. Put the does on alert. Figure I'd go ahead and take the shot on this doe that was at 40 yards. I did, it looked like I made a perfect shot. I mean, I It looked like you torched her. But whenever we slowed it down, you could definitely see her just roll out of the way 
just a nick of time. I mean, a half a second, split second longer, has a double long shot oh, yeah. all day long. Yeah, and next day I got in the stand, in a different stand, um, up in the air, ready to go. I knew some do does were funneling through there. Figure I'd give it a try. How's it going, guys? It's October 5th. Yesterday I missed a doe. She ducked my arrow at 42 yards. We changed the stand up. Uh, right on the edge of a bedding area right here. Hopefully they'll be funneling out here pretty soon. Y'all stay tuned. Infected Outdoors is brought to you by Grim Reaper Broadheads. Watch them drop. Gold tip. Damn straight. She ran in there. My arrow didn't go all the way through. I think it hit that backside shoulder. We review the footage. Looks like a perfect heart shot. We heard her crash. She can't be too far. All right, come here. Look at that blood. What? Blood all over that. Oh. I'm blind. Oh, there's my arrow. My arrow. Thick stuff, this should be fun. Good, good blood, all the way through. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Grim Reaper did the job, oh yeah. All right guys, well here she is. She ran about 40 yards into the woods. Some real thick stuff, we were on our hands and knees trying to get her. Uh, it was a perfect heart shot. The Grim Reapers did a number on her. I mean, there was blood everywhere. I mean, probably the easiest tracking job I ever had to do. Just so thick. I mean, that was the only thing that was hard about it. But uh, we dragged her out here. We still got about a quarter mile hike until uh, we can get her to the truck. But it, as always, God bless. Hey, you put a textbook shot on there. It looked like an old Texas heart oh, shot yeah. I put on her. Oh yeah, I mean, it was perfect. I mean, 30 yards, I, I couldn't ask for a better shot than that. And she just, she didn't I mean, go away oh, no, with that, did no, she? not at all, not at all. Uh, she went through some thick stuff, but she, 34 yards, that's all she ran. Yeah, that's cool. Didn't you get to do any hunting during the rut? Oh yeah. How's it going, guys? It's October 23rd. We're out here in a new spot. We got a southeast wind, so I set up in my favorite spot. I've been waiting to hunt this spot. It's been raining non-stop. Um, it's still going to be raining for the next couple of days, but we got about a three-hour time frame this evening to actually hunt. So we're going to go ahead and hunt um, right here to my favorite spot. Hopefully a shooter will come out. The bedding area is right in front of me. 
uh, they come out right here and eat all the acres before they hit the big field. Got about an 80, 80 acre open pasture right behind me. So uh, hopefully the shooter comes out, PSC will do the job. Stop shaking. I, I don't know. Buck fever got me on that one. Oh, that was a big buck. I literally was packing all my stuff up and I saw him come through the woods. He came up here all the way to 20 yards. I was fumbling around trying to get my stuff. Oh my god. Infected Outdoors is brought to you by Bee Stinger. Steady. Montana Black Gold. Built by bow hunters for bow hunters. Dude, what happened? I mean, that looked like an uncoordinated oh, yes. whole ordeal right there. Uh, I, I just got caught with my pants down. I mean, I had everything out, ready to pack up, go home. I, I just couldn't make it happen. Man, that's stinks, man. That, that looked like a pretty good buck. Oh, yeah. 20 yards. I mean, I just couldn't be. I guess that's why they call it hunting, not oh, killing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, that's all we got for you this week. Don't forget to like us and share us on Facebook. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. And until we talk next time, God bless. Oh, yeah.